Welcome to Imperial Measurements Weight. Whenever we need to measure the weight of something, we use standard units. You might be familiar with grams and kilograms, but did you know that before we use those standard units, different units of weight were used in the UK? These were known as imperial units. Some of these units still remain, such as the ounce, pound, stone and ton. So let's look at some of those imperial units. Here is a picture of some kitchen scales. Let's take a closer look at the face of the dial. Here we can see the capacity of the scale marked on the face of the scales. The scales can weigh up to 5 kilograms in divisions of 25 grams. The scales can also weigh up to 11 pounds in divisions of one ounce. Note that pounds is abbreviated to LBS and ounce is abbreviated to OZ. So what can we learn about pounds and ounces? What about stones and tons too? Commonly used imperial units of weight are the ounce, pound, stone and ton. Let's see how these are all connected. There are 16 ounces in one pound. So one ounce is one sixteenth of a pound. There are 14 pounds in one stone. So one pound is one fourteenth of a stone. There are 160 stones in one ton. So one stone is one one hundred and sixtieth of a ton. So how many pounds are there in one ton? As we now know, there are 14 pounds in one stone and 160 stones in one ton. So 14 times 160 equals 2,240. So there are 2,240 pounds in one ton. Here we can see a closer look at the lines or divisions on the scales. We can see that there are 16 divisions between the naught pound and the one, the one and the two, the two and the three, and so on. The eighth division is marked eight oz, eight ounces. We now know that there are 16 ounces in one pound. So the whole scale is divided up into divisions of one ounce. So how many ounces are there in three pounds. We know that there are 16 ounces in one pound, so in three pounds there are three times 16, which is 48 ounces. So we have seen what an ounce, pound, stone and ton are. But where did these measurements come from? The Romans had a unit of measurement called the libra, meaning scales or balance, 
rather like the sign of the zodiac. The abbreviation for pound, LB, comes from an abbreviation of Libra. The word ounce came from Latin uncia, meaning twelfth. So there used to be twelve ounces to the pound in Roman times. Over time, the pound was divided into sixteen ounces, as the pound could be divided by even numbers into half, then half again, then a further half and a final half. Stones literally came from weights of stone. The Romans carefully crafted stones to be multiples of pounds. Ton came from tun, which was a large cask used to ship cargo around the world. You are probably familiar with grams and kilograms, so let's look at how these convert approximately to imperial measurements. One gram is equal to 0.035274 ounces. One kilogram is equal to 2.20462 pounds. 1,000 kilograms is equal to 2,204.62 pounds. We can also approximately convert imperial measurements of weight to metric. One ounce is equal to 28.3495 grams. One pound is equal to 453.592 grams. One stone is equal to 6.35029 kilograms. One ton is equal to 1016.05 kilograms. We have seen that many of the units of measurement have been around for many years. You may be more familiar with grams and kilograms, but it is important you are aware of ounces, pounds, stones and tons, as the UK uses many of these imperial measurements today. Many foods are sold by weight. See how many you can find that show the weight as 454 grams which is approximately one pound. Many people often give their weight in stones and pounds. Do you? In summary, we have discovered more about ounces, pounds, stones and tons. We have seen the relationship between imperial and metric measurements. We know that these standard units have been around for many years and we still continue to use them today. Why don't you see how many more imperial measurements you can still find in use today?